My name is Anil Dougal. I'm a physical chemist here at the R&D Center. I've always loved light and matter, <laughs> so I've always liked trying to figure out why, light, why things light up, uh, why different materials light up, and, and uh, every, everywhere from kind of your, the first time you see a light bulb to lasers, which do all kinds of neat things. The basic idea behind this project, or the basic idea behind organic electronics, uh, is sort of in contrast to silicon electronics, which is what all electronics is today. And silicon electronics is great, but it has a certain cost structure. It's kind of expensive because uh, it's just, it's just you, you need to do, use very expensive processes to make these, uh, these devices, like a Pentium chip, for instance. Um, and you need big fabrication facilities, etc. Organic electronics uh, has the potential to change that. Basically, you can make electronic kind of devices with organic materials. What's interesting is that you can use those materials using printing processes to make the devices. So you can actually use, for instance, newspaper printing processes to make electronic kind of devices. And that, that, that's important because you know, newspapers are extremely low cost, uh, and that's because the printing technology is very well, it's a very well known technology and a very low cost technology. So if you could make organic device, if you could make electronic devices using newspaper printing kind of processes, you could change, you could really change the game in, in lots of different industries. And so here I'm just taking out a piece of plastic. I'll, I'll tell you more about this plastic in a second, but this is just a roll of, a, a small little roll of plastic, but you can actually make these organic electronic devices on this plastic using printing techniques. And this plastic doesn't have to be this big. It could be much, much bigger. In fact, imagine that this is the size of your living room uh, wall. Uh, on, on this piece of plastic, you could have a whole bunch of electronic devices that could allow the same piece of plastic to do many different things. So for instance, you could have, this could actually act as a TV, a big, you know, huge screen TV. And then you could flick a switch and it could turn into a light source. It could be the main light source for your room. And in the daytime, this could actually be a, a solar panel and, and provide electricity from, from sunlight. So you could do all these things. It's a very exciting field, and lots of people in the world are working on it. We're actually focusing on just one of these devices to start with, and then we'll get to the rest of the devices. This is an OLED. Basically, it's that same piece of plastic, except on one, another side is a, a piece of aluminum foil, just basically to give it some structure. <clears throat> and then what I have here, I've, I've actually connected two wires. One is a positive lead and one is a negative lead and then this is just a really simple uh, power supply and if I turn it on uh, you can see the plastic lights up and I just turn the voltage up a little bit and it's brighter so what's happening here this is just a piece of plastic look at the side this is just a thin little piece of plastic basically within this plastic are some of these materials some of these organic materials and what happens is electrons come from one side and positive charges come from the other side and they meet on these materials and give out light. So kind of what's, what's the future of this? It turns out you can even think of all kinds of kind of specialty lighting applications that might want a flexible uh, light source. Just show you right here is just a very simple sign. You can change the color, we can make it flexible, all, all kinds of sort of signage applications which we're thinking about. But that's really not our long-term vision, that's just maybe a way we can make money along the way. But, but the big thing we're trying to do is first turn this into a light source and that requires we have to do a lot more work to try to make it more efficient um, and then if we, can, if we can be successful in that then we're going to try to move to those other devices try to make a solar something a, a solar conversion device that takes light sunlight to electricity and then move on to uh, sensors and things like that so that's kind of the future of this technology and uh, if we're successful it could really change the world <laughs>